Hello, welcome back to Bite Size Dentistry. I'm Dr. Shrey, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the concepts behind a triple antibiotic paste. Let's get started. Number one. Now, the concept of triple antibiotic paste is not as new as you'd think. Grossman came up with the idea way back in 1955 when he came up with the concept of the PDSN paste, which he planned to use both as a root canal sealer as an, as, and as an obturating material, and that's what kind of led to its downfall. It had a huge amount of leakage, a lot of allergy, so triple antibiotic paste in its first avatar didn't really work out. Number two, Seto et al. came up with the concept of mixing tetracycline, metronidazole and ciprofloxacin and he called it the novel triple antibiotic paste. Let's think about what each of those components does in that mixture. Tetracycline in that mixture has been added as a broad spectrum antibiotic with a static action. Now if you do not know why it's so advantageous to have a static action antibiotic as an intracanal medicament, then check out our module on flare-ups and check out our module on antibiotics in our course Becoming an Endodentist. It will help you sort that out. Anyway, back to that. Tetracycline acts as a static drug as well as a broad spectrum antibiotic plus it has the advantage of being able to chelate calcium. So when you something, something chelates calcium, it is able to penetrate the smear layer and disinfect it more easily. So that is why tetracycline was added to this mixture. Metronidazole acts as a sidle drug with a very strong anaerobic action. And as we know, most of the bacteria inside the root canal are anaerobic, including E. faecalis. So that is the purpose why metronidazole has been added. And ciprofloxacin is interesting because it expands the spectrum further to include certain rarer organisms such as E. faecalis, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, and Streptococcus pyogenes. And that is why we have these three unique drugs combined to create what we know today as triple antibiotic paste. So triple antibiotic paste is conventionally mixed in that 3 is to 3 is to 1 formulation but studies have shown that the 1 is to 1 is to 1 formulation is equally efficacious. Some newer formulations try to exclude the tetracycline group because of the potential of dentinal staining and hence instead of using minocycline or tetracycline what we use in my practice is doxycycline for that purpose. Antibiotic paste has a wide range of applications, all the way from conventional intracanal medication in your in your multi-visit endodontics to weeping canals, large periapical lesions, persistent idiopathic periapical pain, lesion sterilization therapy, as well as regenerative endodontics, apexogenesis, and pedodontics. Do you use triple antibiotic paste in your practice? If yes, leave a hell yes in the comments below. And if no, tell us why you are yet to adopt triple antibiotic paste in your practice. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to be awesome.